Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, gave a report on her continuous disease treatment through Instagram and disclosed her most memorable appearance since December at King Charles III's birthday festivities in March, as indicated by USA Today. She did not provide any specifics regarding the kind of cancer she has. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Kate, who revealed that she has cancer in March, stated that although her treatment is proceeding well, she is, not out of the woods yet. The Princess of Wales made the announcement in March that she had cancer and was about to begin a course of preventative chemotherapy. Kate wrote on Instagram, I am making good progress, but as anyone undergoing chemotherapy will know, there are good days and bad days. You have to give in and let your body rest on those bad days because you feel weak and exhausted. However, you want to make the most of your good days, when you feel stronger. She stated that, depending on how the upcoming weeks of treatment go, she hopes to attend more public events this summer. After a non-public abdominal surgery, Kate, who is married to Prince William, the heir to the British throne, was given the diagnosis of cancer. The royal family includes several members who are battling cancer. In the beginning of this year, it was made public that Prince William's father, King Charles III, had been given a diagnosis of a cancer of an unknown type and had begun treatment. What's more, the previous summer, Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, shared her bosom malignant growth venture, she made the announcement in January that she had been diagnosed with a type of skin cancer known as malignant melanoma. Over the past few months, there have been so many kind messages of support and encouragement that have blown my mind. It has really helped William and me get through some tough times and has made all the difference in the world. I'm making good progress, but every chemo patient knows that there are good days and bad days. You have to give in and let your body rest on those bad days because you feel weak and exhausted. However, you want to make the most of your good days, when you feel stronger. My treatment is ongoing and will continue for several months more. When I feel alright, it is a delight to draw in with school life, invest individual time on the things that give me energy and energy, as well as beginning to accomplish a little work from home. Although I am aware that I am not yet out of the woods, I am looking forward to going to the King's Birthday Parade this weekend with my family and hope to participate in a few public engagements throughout the summer. I'm getting better at being patient, especially when there's uncertainty. Requiring every day as it comes, paying attention to my body, and permitting myself to find opportunity to recuperate. Thank you so much for your continued understanding and for sharing your stories with me with such bravery.